Yeah, we can hear a lot of birds. Let's have a look up here. So we're looking for a drunken Russian person who should have a way for us to get to Arlbad, hopefully. There are a lot of birds around here, and here's a, a blimp boy, is that one? Which suspiciously looks like transportation. Let's go this way then. Well. of bottles around. Guess we found our drunkard. Wonder how long it took him to empty all those. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Sorry to disturb you, but you who can you hear me? Three, two, one, contact, and we have lift off. Oh, holy mother. A game. A pretty game on the launch pad. Please, no need to worry, sir. Just do stay calm. I just want some information. Watch what you're doing, sweetheart. We ain't got no information, no strategies, no plans to tell anyone anywhere, anytime. <laughs> Military regulations, you dig it, man? <laughs> sure. Doesn't look like we'll get much information out of him, but we might as well try. Uh, let's be polite and introduce ourselves first. My name's Kate Walker. I'm a lawyer from, I mean, I'm a bit lost, and I guess you know this place. Boris Charov, at your service, madam. Can I offer you something from the bar? No, thank you. Tell me, how long have you been here? For as long as it took for you to come along, sweet pea. <laughs> Don't think I've been lonely. I got a bottle or two here. Keep me company. You're a soldier, aren't you? Ex-cosmonaut? Hey, honey, that's all in the past. Hell, let's talk about today. Let's have a drink. Uh, that's an order, soldier. Mm, sure it is. Uh, we need to get to Arlbad. I need to get to Arlbad, and quick. You go ahead, soldier. I'll stay here and keep you covered. I got the supplies here. Got to keep an eye on them. Tricky job, too, you know. All these bottles. Sure. What about the birds all around? So many birds nesting around here. What attracts them all here like that? Uh, dumb birds. But at least a bird don't get bored, does it? See? They can fly. Them birds. Jeez, they can fly. Sounds like you're jealous of them. Well, maybe you're just right. Sometimes I like to let Soyuz loose and watch them circle for hours on it. Birds, they crap themselves when they see him coming. Don't stop him coming back, though. Soyuz? Soyuz, ma'am. A silver angel. A savior who cleans our cosmodrome of them dirty rats with dirty wings. Uh, does he know Hans? Because he was on the picture uh, meeting Helena. Romansky. He was actually on the picture with Hans. Does the name Hans Varlberg mean anything to you? Karls... Berg. <laughs> uh, of course I know that name. Oh but dear. sorry, it's, it's been a long time since I've seen something like that around here. Varlberg. He's a person. I'm looking for him, and I think he might have come by here a few years ago. Well, in that case... Let us raise our glasses to this brave man and his very good help. Well, that was no help. Uh, Please, can you try and get a grip? I must absolutely find a way out of this industrial complex. Jeez, me too. I've really got to get out of this dump. 
but not before I've had a little drink. Here, get your pretty little lips around this. Vodka! Tell me what you think. Do you have a vehicle to lend me? I think I'd even test one of your rockets right now if I had to. Toast my rocket? Hey, pretty dame, I'll drink to that. Now, just a minute. We gotta need a special bottle for a special occasion. Something to blow you away. Three, two, one, contact, and we have liftoff. Okay, that's enough. What was that? Uh, did you say something? Are our female comrades revolting or what? <laughs> uh oh, trouble on its way. <laughs> Bottoms up. Power to the babushkas. Right, so that's no help at all. It's obviously far too wasted to help us in any way. I was going to... Oh, forget it, it doesn't matter. He's too drunk to help anyone anyway. I am not drunk. I have drunk. A little. <coughs> so let's see if there's any way to sober him up. What's that? Steal his drink. Sure, I left a bottle or two around here. I gotta get some air. Wall's getting pretty tight. We'll think about that blast off later, huh? Are you okay, Colonel? Are you sure you're all right? Too far, you ah. glorious. Um, it's a bit difficult to see what we've got here. Let's go downstairs and have a look if we can. Uh, check out the layout of what this is because obviously we can move that um, crane he's in but I'm not entirely sure so as far as I'm aware we need to get him underneath this pipe Drown him. Not really. Just to make him uh, sober up. Let's see. No. I need a key. We need a key. Maybe back in his place. We got here. Mm -hmm. Some paperwork. Uh, the prototype program management committee. Project uh, object program XP twenty five. The Vorarlberg spring loaded launch pad project. Uh, this is a letter stating that the spring-loaded launch pad project that Hans Vorarlberg was developing for the Russians will be terminated and that uh, basically ended the colonel's career as a cosmonaut because he was meant to be the test subject trying out the revolutionary new way of rocket travel. Now, voila. There we go, and I'm back. I think that should do it. <laughs> ah, 
What's happening? There's water you've got there. Stop it! Now! You want me to drown? Well, it did seem to wake him up. So, mission accomplished. Now, let's talk about how I'm getting to Arlbad. Calm down, it's all right. Just a little wake up call, that's all. I must have had quite a bit to drink. Gee, you're right there. Not the first time either. Probably won't be the last. Man, my head. Please, could you whisper? Please, do excuse me. But it was the only way I could think of to bring you back to your senses. A little extreme, maybe. But I get the impression you're a lady who likes to see results. You're very true. Um, let's ask him about um, Arlbad again. Does Arlbad mean anything to you? Arlbad. It's been a long time since I heard that name. It's a spa resort, ma'am. Top brass of the regime would go there. As well as convalescing soldiers, tired politicians, profiteers and rackers, the whole caboodle. You go live it up, all expenses paid. One privilege I never got. Just two steps away from becoming the nation's hero and no free holiday for me. And where exactly is this place? Further east. We never had to know where exactly. Airship was programmed to take vacationers there. I'm here. We'll need to get on the airship. Let's ask him about Hans again as well. I'm looking for someone. Hans Varlberg. And I think he came by here about 20 years ago. Hans? You want to know if I know Hans? But of course. He invented one of the most incredible flying machines of the Cosmodrome. Christmas, good old Hans. Even after that dumb and dirty trick he played on me. But I wouldn't give to see him again. What do you mean? What did he do to you? Hans Varlberg and his famous flying wing. See? He invented this kind of spring-loaded launcher. Capable of projecting a weird rocket into the stratosphere. It was red revolutionary hot. And I was going to be its first test pilot. Holy cow, what a job. And then several days before the launch, Hans disappears into thin air like that. Poof. A test program? Well, abandoned. Just disappeared like that? Without saying where he was going? You see, he wanted to hit the stars, but not bombs. If you get my drift. And one day, Hans finally worked out what his launcher was really for. Because the generals have always called the shots here, he realized, and... And when they asked Hans to screw a nuclear warhead onto his flying wing, well, he wasn't a happy man. So he left. Just like that. If everything was ready, why didn't you just wind the thing up and go flying after all? Nobody understood machines here like Hans, especially not his own utopian inventions. You see, such inventions only live and breathe with their creator in the saddle. Without him, Space travel became damn near impossible. And since then, well, I still like to travel, but in my own little way. I'm beginning to understand a bit about how Hans Vorlberg's inventions work. What is this one like? I don't really know. As you can see, I'm a soldier, ma'am. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm not a goddamn aerospace engineer. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's ask him about the birds again, because he wasn't very clear last time. Don't you find it strange to see so many birds in the Cosmodrome? It's the Iron Rafters. I love them. Nowadays, they can enjoy a bit of good old peace and quiet here. So, of course, they turn up in flock loads. <laughs> Sometimes I said Soyuz off to them. <laughs> Just like the good old days. Soyuz? Soyuz is the last Golden Eagle left in active service. We had to get the dumb canaries out of the way before takeoff, so what did we do? Set the eagle on them. And you should see them fly. Soyuz, he's like a cat among the pigeons. Magnificent. I came here by train, but unfortunately it broke down. 
I've got to get to Arrowbad immediately. Someone told me you might have a vehicle to lend me. Someone? Who might that someone be? I hope you're not talking about Sergei Borodin. Well, <laughs> yes, I am. The director of the industrial complex below. Be careful, ma'am. He is not a rational man. He can be mean and very dangerous. He suggested I come and see you, actually. But I get the impression that he doesn't care much for you either. I don't care what he thinks of me. All I say to you is, watch out for him. No, he is a stalker. Uh, I'll need your help, maybe. There aren't many vehicles on this base. When they decided to close the Cosmodrome, they towed all the useful equipment away. It doesn't matter. I'll find some other way. If I can help you, please, just ask. All right. I will. Let's go look around. Thank you so much for helping me. I'm sorry to have woken you up like that. It's been great talking to you, ma'am. I think I'll take 40 winks right now. Let's have a look at that airship that he was talking about and that we saw in the distance. So this is the launching pad, obviously, and with the, the rocket that Hans designed. Can um, we get there? No. This seems to be the control center. <laughs> 